They say it's a savoury dish, but actually when they eat it, it's a sweet dish. The mind can't communicate with the taste. Hi, I'm Francis. I'm a chef owner of No Entree Desserts Cafe. So it all came about during one of my army mates' wedding. So one of my partners suggested why not open up an F&B outlet. So I suggested desserts. At the point of time, desserts in Singapore market will be quite a niche. So I think it would be nice that we can open a full-fledged dessert store. So that is about four years ago. One of the signature dessert that we have is a bath for me. For the tea jelly tea leaf, we set into a jelly. We got a mango lassi foam. Here I'm using mango puree and a yogurt. For the noodles, I'm using a passion fruit and uh, for the setting agent, I'm using a mung bean flour and pectin to create the noodle effect and the texture. I'm using a gula malaka coconut crumble as a mimicking as a popular So it adds an additional crunch to the desserts. For the mince pot, I'm using black sesame together with a mouthful sack. It's a modified starch mimic into a mince meat. The fish ball, actually we're using coconut parfait. It's a, it's a frozen mousse, so they add in a, some sort of like an ice cream texture, but it's a lighter version. I want to transform our local street food into a dessert form, so I think it's quite fun. So for myself, I like to create things that what you see is not what you eat. Not all have the chance to use up steak to eat a dessert, so I think it's quite fun for a dessert to do that. So next, we got a nasi lama dessert. So in nasi lama dessert, we got coconut shell and uh, nasi, which are using uh, coconut and uh, pandan water to cook off the rice. Then we got a pandan foam, gula monaco sauce. and a samba with strawberry and the ikan bilis, real ikan bilis. Using caramelized onion to make it into a fish shape. Egg, we're using um, lime and mango on the yolk. The reason why I'm using some of the items is to get back the nasi lemak flavour profile. So at the same time, I got a pandan, I got a nasi, the rice as a main dessert component. So when you eat it, the flavour profile is exactly like nasi lemak but in a sweet version. After ORD, that's where I decided to step into a F&B industry, culinary industry. So throughout the 12 years, I've found my skill in different hotels. So I've been about four to five hotels before I start a dessert cafe. So we also have a rubber ducky dessert. Before we open daily operations, so we will set a layer of uh, sour cream pudding. Then uh, when during service, so we will add in uh, two scoops of mango puree and probably a scoop of a sago. And after that, we will add in the lemongrass foam to mimic as a bubble. And lastly, we will coat the rubber ducky with a layer of glaze, a yellow glaze on top, and finish off with a small little foam of rubber ducky head. Oh, this is my very first menu which I come out. So the flavour profile is similar to a Chinese dessert which we call Yang Zi Kandu in Ang Mo version. Ah. I believe more general public will get it ah, because it's light and refreshing. Hope can bring some ah, childhood memories when, yeah, for the rubber ducky. Most of my customers have been uh, happy with my desserts but I received some ne negative feedback. A lot of uh, like confusion for the desserts. So visually, they say it's a savoury dish, but actually when they eat it, it's a sweet dish. The mind can't communicate with the taste. So when I see the confusion in their face, which I actually, in my heart, knew that I already achieved what I want. The most rewarding part for my job is to showcase my creativity. At the same time, probably can groom the next generation of a pastry chef. Most important for me is uh, to see my customer happy face when they walk out of my cafe. That is the most satisfaction that I can get.